typical day of e-learning in my home. Uh, my girls have morning Zooms with their teachers and I get up and check my emails, see if any students have reached out needing help on any assignments, checking their grades and helping my daughters with their work. Every morning at 10 a.m. my oldest daughter has a Zoom with one of her teachers for a good 30 minutes. They read a book or they go over a lesson together. So I'm here waiting to do a Zoom with my student council officers. Every Wednesday at 11, we do our Zoom meeting and go over what we need to do for the week or just even just say hi to each other. Um, and then um, right now, Reese is working on some of her homework. What are we working on right now, Reese? I am working on math problems and seesaw. Um, very good. So I just got off of a Zoom meeting with a student of mine that's taking ASL over at the SOC. His courses are a little bit different than what I'm actually teaching in class, but I'm able to help him via Zoom and make some videos for him so he can practice them at home to help him with his things. So that's what I'm going to do now. This week was Teacher Appreciation Week and my school surprised its teachers with this cute little note on a thing of toilet paper and put out these signs in our front yard. Also for Teacher Appreciation Week, uh, my girls and I drove to all their teachers' houses and we dropped off a basket of goodies showing them how much we appreciated them. It's a little different this year for Teacher Appreciation Week, but we still want to show our teachers how much we love them. All right, it's snack time for Reese. She's taking a break from her e-learning and having a little chewy bar while I'm over here trying to help out my fifth grader with her math. What are we working on, Riley? Um, number patterns and X plus blank equals Y's. It's very complicated. Yes, it is. I tried to help her with it and I've determined I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. All right, so now I'm taking a little bit of time just to celebrate my seniors. I'm gonna write their names on it and write them a little note on it to let them know that I love them. I've got about 50 seniors that are graduating. Most of them are former students and a few of them have had them, had them this year, but during this crazy time, I want to let them know that I still love them. Today's my day to come up to my school and do my checkout. Um, and as you can tell, it's kind of eerie. It's quiet, it's dark, it's lonely. Uh, so let's go to my classroom and see what it looks like. Here I am in my classroom. Um, last time we were here, it was the day before spring break. So my desks are kind of crazy. Normally on the last day of school, I have the kids help me stack up the desks and chairs. Um, looks like that's what I'm gonna be doing today. It's kind of sad. I miss my students, seeing them, hugging them, being with them. All right, so I got my room all packed up, cleaned up, my desk is all cleared up, and um, that's it for my classroom for this year. Now, on to next year.